Hello everybody, welcome back to Growing in the Cove. My name is Stacy, and I garden in Zone 5B, Newfoundland. Today I wanted to show you how I'm going to be starting some ranunculus corms. Ranunculus are a beautiful spring flower that really resemble roses, and I've been growing them for a couple of years. I do often get questions on how to start ranunculus corms. Uh, they can definitely be a little bit tricky and I find timing is everything. So ranunculus usually bloom about three months after they're started. So if I start them now, nearing the end of March, we can be looking at end of June or early July blooms. They make an amazing cut flower. They last a really long time in a vase, but as soon as the weather heats up, they will shut down. So it's really important that if you're going to try to grow ranunculus, that you start really early. So I will show you how to go from this to some very healthy transplants that are ready to go out into the garden. So if you're interested in growing ranunculus with me, please follow along. To give you an idea of what the corms look like when they are dry, they look like this. I don't even know how to describe this. They almost look like little baby octopus, but they are these odd little corms. Um, so this is how they will come when you buy them from the store. I like to keep this um, perforated packaging that it comes in and I'll stick them back in there and tie this over. And the first thing you're going to need to do is hydrate your corms. So I have a bucket of water here and I'm literally just going to drop my corms in. These ones I'll just keep in the package and submerge the whole thing. You don't have to do this step, but I like to add a fish pump bubbler to my bucket to keep the water oxygenated. If you don't have one of these, you can just change the water every hour. Um, and I've also had it under a tap with the water just running to keep the water moving. Um, but in order to make sure that my corms stay submerged, I'll just take a little plate and put it down on top. So I'm going to soak these in water for three to four hours and I will be back when I'm done with that. I'm now going to fill a tray with some pre-moistened soil. You really don't need a whole lot of uh, soil for this. Their roots um, are pretty shallow and they're only going to be in here long enough to pre-sprout and get some leaves and then they'll be going into the ground or container or whatever you want to plant your ranunculus in. So the corms look like this after four hours of soaking should be five in each package. So this is what they now look like. They're much larger and they are plumped up. So if you think of these as little spiders, you want to plant them with their legs facing downwards, like so. So I'm going to put these in my tray pretty close together. They don't mind being cozy. And there is planting ranunculus. So I also have, so this is the salmon variety. I'll plant these on one side of my tray and I'll do the marshmallow, which is the light pink on the other side. Actually, I have room, so I will give them a little bit more space. Okay, so that's one variety, and on the other side, I will do these. Now sometimes you'll see this is um, a jumble of corms together. You can actually separate them, and this has now become actually three more corms. And they will still produce flowers. 
So that's a score. Got another one. These are beautiful forms. All right. I'm gonna stick in a popsicle stick to separate my varieties. And now I'm going to cover them with about an inch of soil. stick is in here somewhere. Oops. Now that my corms are planted, I'm going to cover the tray. Ranunculus need cool, dark conditions in order to sprout. So you want to block out all the light. So I'm going to pop this uh, black tray on top to block out all light. Now that my ranunculus are planted, I'm going to pop this tray into an unheated room in my basement. Ideally, you wanna give them a cold start and the ideal temperature to pre-sprout them at is about 10 degrees. My room is definitely warmer than 10 degrees, but it's colder than heated rooms of my house. So you could also put them out in an unheated garage or potentially even in a shed as long as it's above freezing. So they do like a cold start. I'm gonna check them in 10 days to see if they have sprouted and it can take up to two weeks for them to sprout. At that point, I will put them under my grow lights and continue to grow them on. So thank you for joining me planting ranunculus today. This is a question that I get asked a lot uh, for those who are interested to dip their toe into this beautiful flower. Um, so if you have any questions for me, please let me know and you can like and subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching.